1823 on the 10th of no January 2024 and I'm on my second upload today and it's with regard to the issue of corruption and the corruption that I've encountered in society since 2005 that has caused very serious dangerous damages, harms and losses. Um, at the moment it's quite um, serious with what has occurred that the privacy of my personal information and my professional portfolio has been offended in so many ways um, as such it's described as joyriding on my qualifications and joyriding on my purpose, my profession. Um, so as a humanitarian I'm experiencing denigration, defamation, disrespect and yet there's these beautiful uh, concepts for society, the new age and all these fantastic initiatives in aid of women and children's rights that are being espoused and put to the forum and to the forefront of society while in the meantime the very culprits that are living off my professional portfolio are practicing very serious crimes against uh, women and children um, in a democracy. So as I've mentioned, I've worked for the departments of social protection, education and agriculture. And here I am uploading for the past seven years, still waiting for restitution, reparations and redress. And there is obstruction. So corruption is still present. Financial theft for me is still present. And there are people still dirtying society and still making a, a, a rotten um, aims of a good possibility from the purpose that initiated from my advocacy with um, Narcotics Anonymous. It was anonymous and my anonymity was offended, my confidentiality was breached and my personal information was disclosed and that was without my consent and without my permission. So information has been put to the fore that is not accurate, honest and that isn't really presented in a decent fashion. So unfortunately, as I've always said throughout this documentary, any individuals that are working on any initiative or endeavour that culminate as um, progress or development with regard to my farm holdings, with regard to my nuptials, with regard to my professional portfolio, my art, and the upbringing of my child, all of these matters that have experienced so many wrongdoings cannot be supported um, with any right behaviour absent, you know. So anyone out there that has aspirations for an ideal society, I'm really concerned for what has happened in the world since all these wrongdoings uh, commenced against my son and I that are still being perpetuated. So it's the same situation. Matters have worsened. Um, Offences have, have been exacerbated. There has been retaliatory crime. There has not been restitution. I have still contacted the United Nations. I have honest... Um, endeavours achieved with the Declaration of Human Rights and um, I'm still experiencing a huge high level of fraud. Um, as I've said, any individuals in the legal profession that are aware of my holy matrimony being subject to fraud, forgery and fraud, that's a crime against the Roman Catholic Church. So those people that have been um, masquerading and aid and in hopes of women and children having equality and equal rights and then offending um, where it has come from um, that, that that's that's putting a, a blemish um, on this entire situation it's it's marked uh, the situation with the de the bad debts the, the bad words the bad actions and as the Buddha would say we're probably at the stage of uh, a society where things just aren't working out for the best it's a sad sign of the times so I've contacted all ombudsmen and the United Nations since 2017 and 2019 and I'm still being faced with obstruction. So um, I'm a qualified professional. There are people living off my portfolio. There are people up in the Oireachtas and Leinster House and they're up in Dublin and they're fully aware of me and um, they haven't done anything honourable to respect the source of progress and the healing of corruption that was in the society. Um, the social reform that has come about as a consequence of my contact with the Ombudsman. All of these matters that I addressed and reported that uncovered all the corruption that was being conducted is yet again still continuing. So those people that have respect 
for what has happened those people that suffered loss damages and harms similar to mine um, I would ask you to identify relate and empathize in the language of recovery um, those that know of the fellowship I've been with the fellowship 20 years and only for the grace of God there go I so those people that are still suffering from disillusionment um, in the field of psychiatry discussing people's bloodlines and discussing people's family lines um, it might help them to do a little bit of research before they uh, try and denigrate or degrade people's upbringings and backgrounds without uh, insulting heritage um, of our country and backgrounds as well. So those people that have a objective to cause denigration and destitution, I, I, I'm, I'm concerned for their level of impoverishment and the lack of um, wealth in their own well-being that they can't espouse what we hope to practice. So those social reforms that initiated as a consequence of what contact I had with the state representatives um, is all being brought into disrepute, it's being damaged and there are people taking credit where they owe me a huge debt. So as I've said before, um, corruption continues. So that's my second update for today. Um, I, uh, process is tough. I'm a humanitarian, I'm a qualified educator, I'm a qualified recovery advocate and there are people that are trying to live off my back and uh, haven't even done um, a shred of penance for sins against others as well. So um, those that are for putting forgery to my nuptials, uh, to my uh, spouse and the father of my child within wedlock, I, I have a huge message to the Pope and the Vatican State and Italy in particular with regard to what I'm tolerating and I am seeking immediate assistance. I've provided as much detail as I can. Um, it's quite a hot topic, it's quite a heated situation and um, it's uh, spoiled the nature of my farms and um, the corruption regarding my nuptials. So those people supporting bigotry or bigamy, I'm concerned about their level of conscience or conscientious uh, living uh, around other people's family values, ethics and morals. And those that are claiming to be of COVID-19 origins or Brexit origins, um, I, I have concerns um, with regard to the real facts around all of this situation. So there's a lot happening there. There are people still um, sharing disinformation and that's quite dangerous. It's not telling the youth of today the real message and the children and the youth need to hear the truth. So those that are working against justice, I have concerns for people's safety. And as soon as anyone reputable with um, a dignified uh, concern for the future of all the reform and fundamental basis that has been laid as a consequence of the corruption I uncovered, the spring cleaning I've had to do on my home um, is unreal. It was polluted with uh, bad faith practices that I could not tolerate. So those in bad faith, unfortunately, are polluting society with um, a, a mindset that isn't originally or authentically of our unique innate being. So those people that aren't thinking for themselves, I would hope they'd sit back, relax, and think very clearly about the corruption I've tolerated and uncovered and the corruption I'm still experiencing and the assistance I'm seeking quite urgently from people that are still living off my, my wealth, stolen wealth. So this is quite dangerous. It's not just monetary. It's it's all our hierarchy of our needs um, that some people just only think money, money, money. But in fact, what they're lacking um, is the actual insight into what the reality is. And if they're continuing on the grounds of offending my origins from South America, um, I'm going to uh, I'm going to take um, awful uh I, 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 I'd be very offended for my bloodlines from America, South America, um, being offended in Tralee County, Kerry. So there's a lot happening and um, this is just an update. It's 8.23, 8.25 in the PM and uh, the United Nations, you've been sought since 2019 and application for the European Court of Human Rights. I'm still waiting to be addressed if it's ever actually reached. The European Court of Human Rights is another thing. My postal correspondence similar 
to other people uh, has all been interfered with. So there's a lot of crime going on. There's a lot of obstruction and there are people living off wealth that doesn't, you know, authentically belong to them or their professional portfolios. So um, that's as much as I'll say for now. Um, it's a sad sign of the times.